what we'll be looking at is this chunk of ancient sea floor or ocean floor more than 400 million years old and with two crinoids that are still intact. It's very rare to find crinoids to be in one piece. Um, they usually fall apart into many, many little pieces. Uh, when they are alive, they look like sea lilies with a stem and a, a, a crown and the arms with feather-like endings that sway in the water and filter all the nutrients. Um, it's amazing that we have them here in one piece. It's rare to find them like this. And with my scope, I can show you some really fine detail that otherwise would be really, really difficult to see without magnification. Well, obviously, I'll be showing with some fine, fine structures that otherwise you can't even tell are there. But um, when you look up close at a fossil like this, uh, the beauty of it, the symmetry, or like here, lacy structures are just wonderful and makes you think how nature can construct something like that. So in my video, soon following this, um, you will see how it all looks. from the bottom of the stem um, here's one eighth of an inch on that scale and from the other side this is one millimeter each line and right from the beginning when I go trailing my end of the scope here what I see this is neat because Crinoids have their stems made of these kind of like ring-like plates. But I had no idea that here's kind of like a zipper line in between each of these rings. Rings are stacked on one on top of another. And here clearly you can see that's wonderful that nature thinks of all these things because there was a connected tissue in between them. But even now, you can see, wow, wow, there's like a zigzag. That's fantastic. Like a little teeth like fitting perfectly, like in gears of, of some watch. Anyway, moving along the stem, going upwards into the area of the crown, there's a little bit of like a connection between the stem and the crown. Now the crown is really amazing. Um, these species were living then and I'm no expert but I heard a scientist say that um, there used to be 5,000 or so species of crinoids. Uh, we know it from fossils. However, these days there's maybe only 600 of them living. Well, there were extinctions and all. So, yeah, I'm so glad that they survived. Um, sometimes called as lily, lily of the sea. Uh, this one has these stars on the crown. We were looking at that crown. and It's just amazing to look at something that was alive. 400 million years ago and here it is I have it like in 3D um, moving along some of these arms that would branch out and this one just branches out and goes through its own course you know on that ancient floor of, of the ocean as they were living, they, they died, something happened, something maybe dramatic. Um, it's so cool. I'm looking now at another stem, so I'm just writing like here it is. I'm kind of riding along that stem into another crown. And this one's sort of like looking 
slightly different perhaps mm, so I'm just like moving on here it's like a happy face here and that's the slightly roundish bottom of the crown and kind of collapsed here a little bit but then I'm moving to these arms that branch out like a tree sort of you know just branching 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 and here at some point these well I would call them feather like things but they are basically extensions oh here they come beautiful lacy structures that were basically coming out are coming out from these arms um, and that's how crinoids fill their nutrients from from the water from the ocean and now looking with my naked eye this is just like incredible you would not even see a thing as much as I can see here um, so it's kind of like a tunnel vision happening but um, that is perfect because I can see the building blocks of it and isn't that marvelous here for example it's like an over, uh, overlapping discs I mean think of it 400 million years ago and nature had already had all these ways of combining minerals creating architectural structures like this and now these days we can see them sometimes you know if you would dive or so um, here's the crown again and then here's the stem and they float gently attached to an ocean floor some of them kind of can even crawl from place to place um, sort of they look like crawling you know here's another wonderful spot um, and so I can ride and then glide my scope alongside um, trailing these features on my crinoid plate looking at that ancient floor uh, frozen in time like a like a time capsule like really like going back in time um, there's so much of them but I have these two specimens fully presenting themselves on the front of the plate and here we go back to that favorite spot of mine now um, to adjust a little bit here we go these zipper like lines so here we go, crinoids, mm. thank you for watching.